Johnson leads with Parnelli Jones in hot pursuit. Thanks for watching my video. I just want to see right at the start that I'm no scientist. I'm no big deal. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. And so all I'm doing is presenting some evidence that may be a possibility to what we are seeing with Foucault's pendulum. A lot of people seem to say that the pendulum is proof that the Earth is spinning. As you can see, the pendulum swings back and forth, and the position below the pendulum changes over time and so many people believe that this is because the earth is rotating below the pendulum but I want to present some evidence that shows that this might not necessarily be the case now here we've got a wind turbine a small wind turbine and the wind is blowing past the fan and it's generating electricity and here we've got a fan which is doing pretty much the opposite thing. It's consuming electricity and blowing air. And so we're seeing the opposites here. Even though they might look the same, they both have a fan. There's both there's air movement in both situations. Um, but there's two different things happening, and they can be interpreted in different ways. I mean, here we just seen a person get their hat blown off from the wind which is outside and and you know here the person is indoors and a fan has blown the uh, the hat off and so that might seem a little bit simple but what I'm trying to say is that what we're seeing can be interpreted in two different ways and, and two possibilities can be happening for the exact same thing occurring you can see the exact same thing and, and there can be two different things going on they might look exact, but um, there's other possibilities available. And here we see some skydivers and look at their body positions as they're falling through the air. And look how similar this is. This is people in a wind tunnel. And again, falling through space, falling through air, I mean, and a wind tunnel. And so my point here again is that even though the same thing is actually occurring that air movement is keeping these men in this position as they as the air passes through them or passes by them um, but like I say there's two different sources of this phenomena you know and here we've got a guy jumping off a, a tightrope 
and you know he didn't jump out of a plane and he's not in a wind tunnel he's jumping off a cliff and yet we're seeing the same thing with him so there's other ways to look at things instead of just one concrete way of viewing something there's more going on and like I say I know this is a simple analogy and it's almost too simple really but I'm just trying to start at square one here to say that there is sometimes more than one possibility and more than one conclusion available than um, just saying you know like the earth is spinning and, and this pendulum is showing that the earth spins and leaving out all other possibilities that maybe something else might possibly be happening I don't believe that's very good science at all and you know that it's never talked about you know you never hear that there's other possibilities for the pendulum all you ever hear is that this means that the earth is spinning and that's kind of like the end of the story and nobody ever talks about that there, there may be something else happening with the pendulum it's never discussed it's never talked about all it is is just all over the earth and all over YouTube and wherever you see the pendulum is the, the conclusion that this means the earth is spinning and you know here's a, a time-lapse video of Foucault's pendulum and I want to add as well like I don't hate science I'm not against scientists I don't have a big grudge against scientists I'm against false science and when the false science is refuting the Bible and saying that the Bible is false and I'm seeing it all over YouTube and all over the internet people saying that the Bible's false and, and they use like the Foucault's pendulum but there's more factors going on than people realize and like here we've got a levitating globe just a small one and all that's required to have this globe levitate is a source of electricity and magnets if you have a source of electricity and magnet you can make things float in the air now there's the uh, magnet and so this is an interesting thing because again this is a little bit on the simple side as well there is other factors involved of course I'm not denying that but it's just interesting to note that we can see through magnets and electricity that this globe levitates and, and sits there all on its own um, with an invisible force holding it in place and, and here's another one with very similar and like I believe that the earth is being held in a similar way as this is that the universe is rotating around the earth and that it is holding the earth stationary with this invisible force some may call it gravity some may call it magnetism there's different words for it there's different ways to describe it but I'll call it a force for now and I believe that uh, like I say that the earth is being held in place by a rotating universe and I could be wrong I mean I this like I say I'm not a scientist I'm just presenting this as a possibility and so don't don't take this as that I'm say, proving that this is what is happening I'm not but it's something to think about and like, here's a simulation of the universe rotating around earth and I believe that as this universe rotates it is sending that force and electricity to the earth and holding it stable and, and it's levitating and being held in place by this rotating universe that is generating this force and like I say here's a small scale version of it um, you know and this is just of course like I say a simple way to explain it and that this is that like a miniature model of a similar thing that is happening not exact but it's a similar thing that is occurring with the earth and of course the earth is on a bigger scale the image is unmistakable lightning is one of the most incredible natural phenomenons and one that scientists are still learning about Lightning is often seen flashing between storm clouds in the Earth. The bursts of light are pure electricity. Scientists don't fully agree on what actually causes the electrical charge to be dispersed, but it is generally thought that lightning often occurs within the downdrafts and updrafts of thunderstorms. And I believe that as the rotating universe is holding the Earth stable, when water builds up in the atmosphere, the atmosphere is normally an insulator but when too much water builds up in the atmosphere we get the lightning strikes and that's what I believe is going on because you can see amazing amounts of electricity and 
like I say, this rotating universe is sending a force to Earth, and, and this force is acting on all falling and floating objects, is what I believe. And there is evidence of this being a possibility. Like, all over the Earth we see it's like a swirling pattern. Um, like, here's a whirlpool, and, you know, the rotating universe could be sending a force that's acting on, like I say, all floating or falling objects, water like this. You see this spiral occurring all over. Like, here is a hurricane, spiral pattern again. We see this occurring, and, you know, you see it in different places all over the Earth. We see uh, this spiraling formation of tornadoes, and we also see it, like I say, on the Foucault pendulum. And so, this is why I believe that this same force could be acting on the pendulum and it's not necessarily that the earth is spinning below the pendulum the pendulum itself could be spinning and the earth is stationary I mean if we're seeing this uh, swirling pattern happen in clouds and in whirlpools and and all over in different situations how can they say that it's not affecting the pendulum and it's not even discussed like it's not even uh, brought up as a possibility you know, and that, that just can't be good science. You can see that this pendulum is, it's going in a counterclockwise direction slightly. If you watch really close, you're going to see the pendulum going in a slightly counterclockwise direction. Now, do you think that is because the Earth is spinning below it? Or is it, like I say, that the same force that is acting on all these objects is acting on the pendulum, and the pendulum is only showing this force. Now when a person throws a football they like to throw a spiral pattern and again I believe that this also this spiral is a way of counteracting this force. This Some call it the Coriolis effect and like when a rifle is fired a spiral the, the bullet travels in a spiral pattern and you know this comes to the subject too where they say well snipers have to adjust for the earth spinning you know, and it, and so they say that this is proof that the Earth is spinning too, but, like, I don't believe that, I think it's just, like I say, that force that's acting on all objects, and, you know, I know this because I'm a long-range shooter myself. I shoot long-range bullets, and, you know, I'm still hitting the target, and I don't believe that it's the Earth spinning, I believe it's the Coriolis effect. And, uh... Like, like I say, it's this, this force that's acting on all falling or floating objects. And you do have to adjust for it slightly with, with long range shooting. All right, I'm gonna go for another shot here at 700. The last one hit, so I just wanna make sure I can hit it again. Just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. But see, it's way on the other side of this clearing. You can't even see it really with the naked eye, but when you zoom up, you can see it. I believe Foucault's pendulum is, is just evidence of a force acting on the pendulum. Uh, I don't believe it proves that the Earth is spinning. And it's odd that there's no other uh, discussions about it all over the whole world. All it is is just, well, the pendulum means the Earth is spinning. but. I mean, if we're looking close around us, like I say, we see this spinning, swirling, spiral pattern. So all objects that are falling have a slight spin on them. And that's this force, this rotating universe that's holding the Earth stable, is what I believe. And it's, uh, it's acting on all these things. And it's acting on the pendulum as well. And like, like you can see this pattern all over the world. And so I hope you enjoy the video and, and just keep your mind open. and. Thanks for watching.